the long nightmare was over. At six on a late spring morning in 2008, Outlaw left his prison cell for the final time. As he walked down the corridors to the front gates of the prison, the guards were cordial. They didn't say what he had heard them say so many times to departing prisoners. See you later, or we'll keep the lights on for you. They simply said, with what appeared to be sincerity, good luck. Before he left the compound, however, they put him in leg and arm shackles one last time. He was transferred to the custody of a Department of Correction parole officer who was going to drive him to New Haven. When William Outlaw finally exited the prison's doors, the first thing that he saw was a maple tree 20 feet away. Its leaves were fresh and clean in the sun, and the grass below the tree was saturated with a heavy dew. As he stepped forward tentatively onto the grounds outside of the prison, the first time in decades. Outlaw could not quite fathom what was actually happening. By this time, he had been incarcerated for more than half his life. His Jungle Boy's career, by contrast, had only lasted three and a half years. The fact that he was outside a prison was in itself astonishing. Had it not been for Ira Grudberg's appeal, he would be in Cheshire, or some other prison, for another sixty years. He was leaving many people behind who had committed the same crimes as he had and who would not be released. That he was looking at a tree and could walk up to that tree and touch its bark was staggering.